Welcome back to another part of the quarry. If you do enjoy this, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and let's get into it. Yes. The Belly of the Beast, Chapter 8. Where is Chris Hackett? Shut up. Wow, rude. Guys, she murdered Kaylee. We have been over this. Uh, Caitlin, what do I do? Oh, wow, real strong showing on the leadership front. I said shut up! <sighs> oh, no way, I am not getting involved. This is all you, buddy. Look, just think about everything that's happened tonight, okay? That's all I'll say. The body in the lake, too. Remember what Jacob said? Yeah, right. Listen to me, these people are not who you think they are, I promise. Can they please just clean the blood of their faces? They could say, listen, bro, just clean your face a bit. <laughs> Unconvinced? No. Hold up, you, you said you heard a woman crying when you escaped? Why? What do you know? It's the ghost story he told us about, right, Caitlin? This isn't a ghost story. It's a creature feature. It's really happening, and you're all in it. Your bracelet. I'll shoot, really? What are you doing? I'm trying to help. Worst case scenario, this should give you a fighting chance. And this will kill them? For good? Yeah. But what if it's Nick or someone? Like I said, worst case scenario. Brian, put that fucking thing down before you hurt someone. So... Come on. Where does Chris Hackett live? When he's not at camp, I mean. Mean? I wouldn't tell you. Or guarded. What makes you think I know that? Uh, you guys are counselors, right? You've spent the last two months here? He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. I think that spooky house behind these woods. Dude! What? Sarcastic or compassionate? Listen, there could be another way. Have you thought about that? I've spent the last month thinking about nothing else. Look, when the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's bitten. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? And don't forget about Nick, dude. Okay, any closer we're gonna have to spray you two with cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. I'm running out of time. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. I'm going with you. What? what? Uh, yeah, what they said. I'm going to show you that Chris Hackett has nothing to do with this. He wanted us to stay inside tonight. He wanted us safe. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you think. Shut up. Fine, do whatever you want. You saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. Everything's gonna be fine. That cop car you stole, where is it? Ditched in the lake. Why? It was a stolen cop car. You're gonna have to try and fix the minivan. Get somewhere safe. How long do you have? An hour or two? I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. Then we better get going. So let's do this.
Hopefully you don't turn too fast. Are you sure this is the right way? Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty or definitely? What do I look like, a tour guide? Have you actually been there before? I mean, no. Wait, seriously? I know as much as you do. How well do you know Chris Hackett? Mr. H, pretty well. Like you're pretty sure we're going the right way? When I first came to camp, I was going through some personal shit, and Mr. H helped me sort it out. He's a good guy. You don't know him like I do. You don't know him at all. Okay, okay, jeez. Teacher's pet. Why are you like this? Like what? Mocking. Look, I don't think anybody knows anybody, not really. Well, I know Mr. H, and, and he never hurt any of us. Well, I know for a fact he's not the good guy you think he is. All he does is try to help people. That's what his whole camp is all about, to help the kids. Yeah, I don't doubt it. You know what I have to do, right? I know. But only if we can't talk to him. If we can't find another way. Lead the way. That is one big, huge moon. Holy moly. There it is. Hacky house. So he lives in some redneck mansion with his redneck family in the ass crack of the woods? Look at this place. No, but it's where his mom lives, I think. Never been there. But if we're looking for answers, it's probably the best place to start. So, uh, wait, how do we get there? What do you mean? How do we get to the house? That's a really good question. Maybe we just don't. Making me angry, actually. Hmm. Look. I understand Chris is your friend. If there was another way, I'd tell you. Sure. Yeah. Laura, Chris is a good man. This isn't about good and evil, Ryan. Just how can you be so certain? If I let my conscience slow me down now, everything gets a lot worse for everyone. Believe me, if there's another way, I'm all for it. Hey, where are you going? You're on a timer, remember? There must be another way across somewhere. I got you! Careful, it's gonna go! Oh. <laughs> Luckily there's water. Holy shit! Are you okay? Laura? Stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. Great. Oh my god, Laura. Jesus, Mary and Jazz hands. Here's a thought. What are you doing? Relax, look. What big eyes you have, Grandma. No shit. Can you see yellow in my eyes? Define yellow? Shit. We haven't got much time. I think he should hold on to the gun, right? No, he's gonna kill us then, if we turn.
These must have been from the quarry days. No duh. No one's been down here for years. But this is like a mine or something. Did you hear that too? It's her. Who? The hag of Hackett's quarry. It's like she's warning us off. Or guiding us. What do you guys think? Hag of Hackett's quarry? Guiding us? Or scaring us off? Think anyone heard that? No, they can't have done. This place is not up to code. I mean, if the code is literally crumbling to the ground, then I think it's doing fine. Let's just keep moving. Yeah. Careful. Jeez. I love uh, Mrs. Kearney's jokes, pretty much. She's awesome. Okay. The lover's card. I'll take that. Just look at this place. Why is her eyes no longer yellow? That was a bit weird. Oh boy, this is high. Whoa. Are there something here? Do you think, actually, something is in here with us? Either that, or this route isn't as disused as we thought. Could Mr. H be in here? What do you guys think about uh, the, the, this Ryan's clothes? I, I've seen it a few times, and I just don't understand. Do you like it when people are wearing long shorts? Or long pants, I would say. And you can see their socks. Or do you prefer pants that is like all the way through and literally the pants touches your shoes? What do you guys think looks better? Because for me, this looks like he's just wearing pants that is not long enough for him. Right? And I, I've seen more and more people actually wear pants like that. And I'm like, no, dude, what are you doing? Long way down. I mean, sure, it's like personal preference. Well, where's Cave out? <laughs> Look who's finding their funny bone. So let's keep What's on. Your deal, then? What do you mean? The whole mysterious brooding loner thing, it doesn't quite fit with the I love my camp leader vibe. So, I don't fit into the right box, is that what you're saying? Something like that, yes. Be patient. You know that's not what I mean. I've been coming here for years. You get to know a place and it feels like a second home, you know? I mean, until now. What about your friend, uh, Caitlin? Is that her name? It seems like she looks up to you. I guess... Uh, I'm, I'm kind of closer to Dylan, though 
After tonight, I don't know. Well, trauma can bring people together. Yeah, and vodka. <laughs> so what about you? Who do you like more? I don't know. Maybe neither. This way, I see a light. Yeah. Or you can just hang out here, up to you. Someone's been eating their spinach. So, you want to go into the collapsing nightmare tunnel first, or shall I? Without an answer. Oh, okay, he's walking in front. The Wheel of Fortune. Looks promising. Anything we can touch. Doesn't look like it, right? That's like a collapse or something. Over here. Careful. Splinters. Thanks. I'm fine. Guess we found the party. Alcohol. From Prohibition. These are run running tunnels. That would make that liquor almost a hundred years old. Probably still good. Good. Try vintage. Well, I guess the hackets were bootleggers. Makes sense. I guess when the quarry shut down, they branched out. Come on. Time travel later. Or we can take a drink, of course. It was probably 100% alcohol. It could most probably kill you if you drink it. You think this is it? Uh... Beach me, I'm pretty much completely lost. <sighs> yeah, me too. Shall we? Well, let's do this. Not much else to do. Honest. Uh, that's kind of my bad. Had a bit of a tumble with one of the locals. The fuck, Caitlin? This place is wrecked. <laughs> well, you should see the other guy. What do you think happened to Jacob and Emma? Probably nothing. Hopefully. I mean, should we go find them? Warn them? I think the safest thing, the most responsible thing, is to try and get help. Right. And then we can come back for them. And Nick. And Nick. Why are they dumb? The safest thing, most responsible thing is to go into the attic, unlock the thing, and just remain there and be quiet until the mo full moon is over. Wait. What? Is there... Is there something in there? I don't know. What is it? I... Jacob? Emma? Are they... Should I open it up? Your funeral, buddy. Ah! Oh, she made 
chase me! Chase me! Ah! Hey, it's us! Oh, oh shit! It burns! Oh my god! Oh. I wait. I'm wait. so sorry, Dylan. Dylan. I am oh. so so sorry. Fuck I didn't know it was you. I was really Dylan. scared, and I thought it's not Mace. What? Air freshener. Oh. Yeah. It's all I could find in the van. Okay. So she was in the police station this whole time? Insane, right? This whole time, we were having such a fun summer. We never knew. Jeez. Okay. Can you fix it? No. Oh. Not without some parts. Specifically, a rotor arm. There's a scrapyard up the road. So you can fix it? Well, no promises, but if there's hope, that's where we're gonna find it. That sounds like a long shot. Oh my goodness, just stay a year. Like, where are you gonna drive to? What are you gonna tell people? By the time you get back, it's anyway dawn. I, I don't understand, man. Like, this game doesn't make sense to me. Dylan, come on. Look, I need you. We need you. Fine. Okay. Once again, Dylan puts himself in mortal danger for the sake of his work friends. What exactly are we supposed to do? I mean, the van is nice, but it's not exactly Fort Knox. Well, there's a shelter under the lodge. You could be safe there for a while. All right. Abby, you're with me. Good luck. Finally, two smart people. Even if you get the car fixed, what are you going to do? You're in the middle of nowhere. What Laura's doing is actually making sense. What was that? Huh? What was that? Oh, it's nothing. We got we got guests downstairs. We don't want any more blood on our hands. Keep it down. You keep it down. Shh. I guess she has item hearing now. The Emperor. Jacob. Hey, it's Ryan. Jesus, what happened to you? Close, open cage? No, no, no. This thing is electrical. Hey. It's electrified. Okay, um, there's a box in the corner of the room. I think that's how they're operated, okay? I saw this old guy, under dude from the woods. He used that. Whoa! 
are you here, Travis? You ought to be out with the others. Like I say, we've been all night long trying to keep those kids safe. Ma. Uh. <clears throat> it's Kaylee. She's dead. <laughs> no. Boys are bringing her in right now. Now I know you got to screw loose in that cop head of yours. There ain't no way to kill her in her kind of condition. Silver bullet. She's dead, Ma. No. God damn it. No. No, no. No, no. Not my granddaughter. Not my only granddaughter, not my Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee! You goddamn piece of shit! Not my little Kaylee! God damn you! What did you do to her? Did you get bitten? Is she crazy? A stopper, man. Wait, it's him! Think about it. Why would they lock him in a cage? And who the hell is it? Who the hell is she? She's in charge. You've already got it wrong once. It might even be Nick. Your friend? Hey, listen. Okay, they said that they've already got two of us accounted for. Whatever that means. Whoever this is, they're, they're not going anywhere. Remember? We've got to be sure. We promise. Okay, seriously, man. They took it! They took it! You fucking idiot! Ma. God damn it! You fucking piece of shit! Get away! Get away from me! I'll take up or leave him. I uh, will help him. Okay. 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 Talk me through it. Okay. So, all I know is you have to open my door and that door. And definitely not that door. Oh, cool. Thanks, Detective. Okay, fuck you, man. I'm trying to help. No, fuck you. I'm trying to help. Shut up. Shut up. Okay, there's a console on the wall over there, like a box or whatever. You should be able to use those switches to isolate each cage. Okay. Hang tight. Okay. Path chosen to help. Seven, five, three. Seven, five, three. Right? So we definitely don't want seven. So we want three. So that's a. Oh, a one and a two. Equals five. Uh, th sorry, a three. Okay. Well done. Not just the middle one, dude. Don't fuck this up. Okay. And continue. I can do this. I can do this. Focus, dude. Focus. It's a five, right? So it is a uh, three. And a plus a two. That equals five. We probably could have also done a four and a one. Oh, damn. You look awful. Thanks. Hell. Where's everyone else? Um, Jake. Emma wasn't with them. I don't know where she is. Well, you should go catch up with them. Be careful. We came into the mines. I don't. I don't know if there's a way back up. Not my God. God not, not my only granddaughter. Not my Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. What? 
So you, you had those motherfucking counselors in your goddamn jail for two whole motherfucking months, right? And you are telling me now that instead of putting a bullet into each one of their little sorry shit-stained brains, you, you gave them your silver bullet gun and they shot my Kaylee with it? Is that what you are telling me now, Travis? No more blood on your hands. That's what you, you, you said it. Oh my God, we are way past that now. Oh, Ma, what, what if it had been me or, or, or Bobby? What then? She was your family. A good boy protects his family. You ain't no good boy. I wish I could take it all back. I wish I could take it all back, but I can't. Well, I just don't, I, I don't understand why you, you, you couldn't have just taken care of the problem when you had the chance. Taking care of the problem? Do you hear yourself? Yes, I hear my goddamn self if I may be old, but I ain't deaf. I'm a police officer! Oh, so now I'm blind, you motherfucker. Now I'm blind. Oh, you just flashing that badge around like it's worth a million dollars. The only reason you got it is because Hank got killed in a gypsy fire. Ma. Don't ma. Don't ma me. Would you sit down, please? Don't you tell me what to do. Please. And don't you go around. Don't you go around like you better than everybody else, because you ain't. Would you please sit down? Don't you tell me what to do, you piece of shit. Yes. Ryan, run! Ma, send Bobby down. She gonna drag us up with our ponytail? Playing some copyright song again, but we did mute it. I just wish that games could uh, actually realize that there is really good no copyright music out there that they don't even have to buy the license for. They are completely free to use as well. And trust me, YouTubers would love your company a lot more. It's just how it is. Happy ambient noise and all these things. Like, you have to keep in mind that. You have to buy a license. Or just use copyright free stuff. Welcome back. Did you miss me? Hopefully you've brought me some more of my cards. Let's have a look, shall we? The lovers. There's harmony and disagreement brought to light only by sparks of passion. <laughs> Blood flows from the heart. You can almost taste it. And tasting it could save someone's life. The Wheel of Fortune. After all, fortune is nothing but a spinning wheel. Sometimes you have to take a chance. Karma works in mysterious ways, but it favors those who pay attention. Watch closely. Though the wheel spins, the eagle-eyed can tell where it's going to stop. The Emperor. Authority, paternity, strictures designed to topple, no? How the mighty may fall, and their empires with them. Let them bleed. Let them rip each other apart. Let them rot. <laughs> Details. Yeah, see more. Then choose the possible future you'd like to witness. And watch carefully. Uh oh. Try and find some clarity in the chaos. We only have one option out of the three cards. I'm gonna take the Wheel of Fortune. 
I think I know what lovers could be, and I think the emperor doesn't really matter. Okay. Go. You still got time. Be careful now. Be very careful. Okay. So Bobby got killed and the police officer. By the way, Dylan is still a bit. Been there before? The scrapyard? Nah. Just seen the sign on my way to camp. We didn't chop his hand off. What if we just, like, walk to the main road? This isn't the main road? No, this is all Hackett property. The main road is another mile that way. Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? Wait, shut up. So basically, it's another hour walk to the main road, and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest whatever? Yeah. What was that? Let's just keep moving. Okay. It will be just as long to find a rotor arm and also repair the car. Ryan and Laura. Huh? And then find a help. Oh boy. That is just... That is why I'm saying this makes... The, the, what these guys are doing right now just doesn't make sense. They should have just gone in the basement as well and be like, okay. We're just gonna wait until the full moon ends. A full moon ends. Right? Do you think there was something going on there? <sighs> yeah, there were definitely sparks flying there. Yeah, I know, but I couldn't tell if it was... Angry sparks or like sexy sparks? Definitely felt like sexy sparks. <sighs> Doesn't she already have a boyfriend? Yeah, but Ryan's Ryan. <sighs> Not that it matters. Now that he's off on a daring adventure with Little Miss Mysterious, how do you compete with that? Kind of. Got close at the fire pit back there. Am I crazy or was something about to happen? This always next year, right? Well, let's get through this year first. Wouldn't really matter anyway. It looks like we finally know Ryan's type. Confident and heroic with an eye patch. The pirates. Maybe she shivers his timbers. <laughs> There. He's swinging those hips a little bit too much, isn't it? Oh, shit. Relax. It's a motion sensor. We're okay. I think. Oh, look. Steampunk's back in. Ew. Come on. This way. I'm a steampunk fan. It's pretty cool. So what do we do now? Well, I guess we just make ourselves at home. Live up some cocktails, see what's on the TV. No? Got it, Emma. What? Why are you always so positive? Oh, why do you keep asking me that? Uh, I asked you about your confidence, not your Whatever is happening right now. Ugh, I don't know. I guess I just don't like to see other people sad. Oh, please. What? Is that really what you think of your followers? Just a bunch of sad sacks that need you to cheer them up? Whoa. Come after me. Don't come after my followers. My emanation. You really need to come up with a better name for that. Hell yeah, I do. <laughs> well, fuck this night, huh? Yeah. Come on. I want to hear you say it. Fuck this night. Fuck it all the way to morning.
You'll 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 take away my monetization on this video with all this swearing. Easy, ma. Put me down, you wretch! I want your fucking head up. Everybody just relax. Can't shoot what you can't see, darling. Jeez, how dark is this room? Gotcha. You'll pay for what you did to my Kaylee. Get the fuck off of me! Oh my goodness. Everybody stop! Constant. What the fuck is going on up here? Uh, wake up. Wake up. Darling, come on. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Oh. She's gone. Little Bobby. Mom's gone. Cuba. Yeah. No more party. No more protecting anyone. Travis. Well, that turned out to be not so good, right? Fuck. Okay. All right, that's not good. Why are you touching it? Stop it. Not ever pull out a knife. Once it's in, it's in. You go like that to the hospital. You never pull out a knife. Ever. We got a car, death. <sighs> Is that poop? Poop inside a bucket? Well, that was sexy. A block door or hide.
Hold a breath. And his name is John Cena. I'm close. Stand by. Over. Nice comeback you got there, Ryan. My goodness. Hide or run? I guess we'll run. Let's play Moonlight Sonata. Play, yes. Dick. Guess you can't play piano. See what's upstairs. Bada bim, bada boom. Hackett family tree. Do you guys maybe know your family tree? My dad is actually like uh, extremely into stuff like that. I couldn't care less where I'm from, to be honest. Does it really matter? Hello, woman. Not like we can see anything. Who 
We ain't playing games no more, little girl. Try me, motherfucker. <laughs> You know something? I ain't got enough silver to kill you, but I sure to hell can make you suffer. Why are you doing this, old man? Attack or run? Let's just run. Okay, what's your position? What's your position? off you know what she did to Kaylee and she killed your mother too wait killed her mother and her niece his niece Gotta hold our breath so the John Cena doesn't find us. first besides i'll get in trouble stab yes <laughs> ow you stabbed me yeah fucking hurts don't it i ain't never been stabbed before <laughs> leave me alone <laughs> ow it really hurts dad Laura. Whoa. Hey, 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 it's me, it's me. What the fuck happened to you? Oh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. Ah. 
Oh, Ryan. Oh, how bad is it? I'm so sorry. Huh. That bad, huh? I keep trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting hurt. First Max, how are you? She gives me this weird vibe. I don't know if you guys have ever seen a series called I Zombie. I only watched the first season. But that is one sexy zombie, you know. She gives me that kind of vibe. Not really turned yet, but very attractive. It's not your fault. I didn't have to come here. I shouldn't have let you come. Uh, you're not the boss of me. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Am I dying? You've lost a lot of blood. But it'll, it'll heal though, right? Wait. Maybe it, maybe it will. What? Ryan, if you let me bite you. What? If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected, which means. Which means it will heal. Yeah. But it also means... Yeah, yeah, I got it, Big Bad Wolf. Yeah. <sighs> Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it like it's fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then... Then I have to kill Chris. It's, it's not killing Chris, it's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life. And mine. And Max's and your friends, too. Let you bite me. And live to kill Chris Hackett. Or bleed out and die. Pretty much, yeah. It's your call, for now. So we doing this or no? You can bite me a little bit, you know? Come here. Do it. Okay. Uh. Nice and tender for you. Pull away? No. Okay, okay, okay! Look how dark her eyes are. You should start to feel better. Soon, I guess. Lara is almost completely, um, I almost said vampire because the way she was fighting him makes me think of a vampire. But she's almost completely werewolf. Almost. These guys never throw anything out, huh? 
So, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped apart. It's just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. Let's do this then. There's some more sensors for lights. Documentary. No. Shut up. Come on, let's go. Why, hello there, lights. Goodness. Ah! Sorry, that was scary. That's so annoying. We are being hunted by literal monsters, and this is what bothers you? Yeah, both are bad. One can kill you, the other one just gives you a little fright. Both is bad, my ass. Judgment? How large is this place? Right? Do we go down here? I think so. I don't know where to go. I see that there's also stairs on this side. And there's more stairs here. Look. So. You ever operated a crane before? I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh-uh. Oh, I hear that, yeah. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Dude, his face is changing. He has yellow eyes. Oh my goodness. Sure, yeah, sure thing. Um, just uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. 
Okay, let's see what we're working with. All right, not too complicated. Welcome back, Grabber. Now you're falling away, will you? What the hell is going on? My bad. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. All right. Here goes nothing. I think I found my calling. About time! <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. <gasps> Score! the car, dude. Oh. oh, fuck. Dylan, get the damn werewolf on the damn car! Uh, oh, fuck. Hurry the fuck up! Slam car, sound horn. Can't you see we have the same blood as them? Resident Evil 4 style. Come on. Here we go. We're supposed to have super strength by now. <laughs> you found our gun again? turning Goodness. I got goosebumps all over. We can't just sit here. Why not? Dylan said it's safe here. Well, yeah, I just. I don't want to be waiting around. But that's literally all we need to do. Just wait until morning, right? 
fine. But we need protection. Go see what you can find. It's better than just sitting around. I don't know, dude. They had the best idea to just sit around, literally, out of everyone. Looks like the main fuse is gone. That's why there's no power? Why would somebody do that? What is it? Silver shells. How'd they get down here? The hunter must have dropped them. This is probably how he got upstairs and attacked Caitlin. These fucking guys are everywhere. He technically didn't attack Caitlyn. He was trying just to lower, get her gun, gun to lower her, right? He, he didn't want to get shot. What'd you find? And then technically Nick attacked him. Ladder. Is that a tiny little door up there? Uh, yeah. We'll open it up. Why? We don't know what's up there. Exactly. Have you not been paying attention? Like at all okay what i mean is it might be good for us to have an escape route you know we don't know what's up there it, it, the lodge there there also could be a, a way for us to defend ourselves okay guess that makes sense Just open the door larger, right? Just open the door bigger. It will be easier to climb out. Oh, they ain't getting through there in a hurry. Man, this place is huge. I might need to rest a bit. You'll feel better soon. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out, maybe. I'm done being chased and stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. Watch your step. Yep. You know, I see it. Is this Mr. Hackett? Could be. What was that? I think. I think we found Chris Hackett. Son of a bitch. Why wasn't she shooting at all?
<laughs> oh my. Silver back mirror. Bobby! The gun! Boom headshot, baby. Wait, she has clothes on? That's not cool. to normal what oh <laughs> you think this is over this isn't over I, I don't understand Chris is dead oh huh. well, Chris wasn't the first that's not possible Caleb. Kaylee. The girl you killed? Her brother. What? <sighs> Caleb bit Chris and Kaylee. Chris was just trying to protect him. He was a good man, my brother. Well, then who bit Caleb? Silas. I've been tracking him for years. He's a, a gypsy, a transient. He'd been long gone from the area, but we hoped he'd come back so we could end this. Anyway, there's sightings up and down the coast. A feral albino child, giant white wolf. White wolf? What? What'd you say? Where? Where'd you see it? Hey, let uh, him at go! The, at the cabins earlier tonight. Okay. Okay. Okay, it makes sense. It all makes sense. Uh, he must have been back for months, and he's what ran you off the road two months ago. Help me. Help me. We can still save Caleb. We can still save what's left of my family. We, we can help those who are still alive. Bro, this guy lost so much. He just lost his mom, his dad, his brother. Like, I, I think Bobby is his other brother, right? I think there are three brothers. So he literally lost everything. And the only thing he has, also Kaylee is dead. The only thing he has left is Caleb. Literally the only thing he has left. So it's like his whole family was turned. Why the hell should I trust you? I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm telling you we can end this. We kill Silas, everyone gets better. Everyone, uh, who's still alive anyway. Okay, okay. So where would we even find him? I know exactly where to find him. Okay, let's go. Okay. This doesn't mean I forgive you for what you did to me. I understand. Can, can someone please get me some fucking clothes?
I would get the the most revealing clothes ever, ever for her. Had your chance. You had your chance to wipe out that wretched family, and you failed. <laughs> Doesn't matter. There's still time. We can still come out on top. Past is the past. Let's just <clears throat> look to the future, shall we? Death. Death takes many forms. It could mean change, transition, transformation, often interpreted as a, a beacon for the hopeful. In your case, it means, well, it just means death. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny about that? The sun. The vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. <sighs> judgment. The bells of judgment cry bloody murder. Or do they? The fury of a hatred earned. A fate deserved. Likely, but he may have his uses, though he won't forgive. He won't forget. There's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Uh, yeah, show me. Yes, good, but I can only delve deeper into one possible future. So which is it? Choose. Death, the sun, or judgment? I think we'll take judgment. What? One last time. Go back. Go back and end this. Don't play with fire, girl. You're gonna pee in bed. <laughs> Don't look at me like this. <laughs> Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new. I'm looking forward to see you guys in the very next episode. Love you guys, take care, and as always, remember to twist some nips. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, have a good time.